Anaya Shehem Pia. That's good evening in my traditional language, the Wayunaiki. As an indigenous woman, I should like to acknowledge first the Olone people, also known as the Costa Noan people, the traditional owners of this land, the custodian of this land. I would also like to pay my respect to all of the elders here present. Never in my life I will imagine I will receive such a honor. Let alone speak to you in English, a language that I only managed to learn a couple of years ago when I started to do international advocacy and monitoring work on the rights of indigenous peoples and indigenous women. Distinguished guests, partners, donors, colleagues and friends in sisterhood, brothers and sisters, please allow me to start sharing a bit of my life. Some years ago, Franco Boscan, my grandfather, and Jorge, one of my uncles, were killed by paramilitaries. That time, we had no idea about what the real causes of these assassinations were. It does not matter if you were a girl or a woman, if you, if, it doesn't matter if you were an elder. After that, blood and terror was the daily bread for many of our Wayu communities. Years after, I remember dreaming with one of my uncle, who asked me to unify and fight for Wayu people. I did not understand the meaning of that dream while trying to interpret the dream. I received a call from my mom informing my uncle was killed. I remember women were going all the dusty roads of the Wayu territory, searching for my relatives alive. Unfortunately, we only could collect remains of my uncle and other six relatives. My pretensions and hopes of living a normal life at the capital city as an indigenous woman were apart. I wanted to seek for justice after this. I wanted to seek for truth and ensure that such incident will never happen again. Control over our land and natural resources was and remains a fundamental issue among indigenous peoples in Colombia. A country mired in an armed conflict with various interests at stake. We were you women could not stop, much less after knowing that woman cat, which means our mother earth in my language, was being indiscriminately attacked. Fuerza de Mujeres Wayu, the organization I belong, main, the main mandate is to strengthen the leadership of indigenous women of Colombia and in Latin America in three ways. Promotion and protection of human rights, respect for Mother Earth, and self-sufficiency. Mother Earth, Pachamama, Womainkat, Ma, for most indigenous communities around the globe, Mother Earth is generous when her winds lull at us. It's Mother Earth, no human being, who sows the hunger we have. It's her, Mother Earth, not human being, who quenches the thirst we have by providing us water all the time. In the beginning, we did not have financial resources. We still not having financial resources, by the way. <laughs> but we started this small and we started just with small and regular meetings in the community. And then with the support of the Global Fund for Women, and recently with the UA, we got finally to build a school, the School of Indigenous Women and Other Kind of Wisdom.
During all these years, we have successfully stopped the killing of one of our ancestors. The Rancheria River wanted to be killed by the Cerrejón, a coal extracting company in Wayu territory for over 30 years. Despite our successes, impunity remains huge challenges as we are still fighting for justice. But continue dreaming, and uh, we continue dreaming, and our dreams were highly supported by the Global Fund for Women. I would like to highlight that Global Fund for Women was and has been a source of inspiration and plays a vital role of strengthening women's rights movement around the world, catalyzing women leads initiative for social change in terms of equality and non-discrimination. I'm glad to be part of this. That Global Fund, I'm also glad that the Global Fund for Women to, is supporting initiatives to work at the grassroots organizations like ours and has truly given us, in Wayu indigenous women, a powerful voice for change in our communities side by side with men. Your work on targeting the root causes of issues, whether this involves policy review and legal reforms, for example, ensuring that domestic violence and harmful practices are criminalized and that women have right to own property, these kind of concrete changes are really very relevant, not only for indigenous women in Colombia, but all over the world. I strongly, I strongly encourage you to continue strengthening your work and never to forget the situation of the most vulnerable women in the world. And that is in these moments of, challenge, of challenges that we unfold very essence of humanity. I also want to remind to the distinguished audience that damages perpetrated against Mother Earth are also damages against women and girls. I strongly invite you to work with us to stop violence against women and girls. I strongly invite you to work with us to stop violence against Mother Earth. Thank you very much.